Hey guys, it's Stasia and welcome or welcome back to my channel and today we will be doing a reading vlog. So today um, I will be starting my vlog for the Tarot Readathon. Today is actually Monday, July 12th, so I'm a little bit late but I just had a couple reads that I wanted to finish, finish before starting this vlog. So, um, the Tarot Readathon is basically um, just a readathon based on tarot cards that you pick. I don't really do that stuff, but I just thought it would be fun to have my TBR chosen that way. So, I'm going to be picking as I go because I'm a part of Team Cups and one of our like things, I don't know what they're called, um, is we can't change our TBR once we set it. So, I don't want to change my TBR and then end up changing my mind so i'm just going to pick as i go and read as i go first things first is that i need to i need to pull up like a tarot card generator because i don't own a deck because like i said i don't do that so i i'm gonna pull it up on my phone and each card has like a prompt to go with it so that is what we will be doing i believe they have one in their google doc so i'm just gonna go ahead and use theirs so I'm just going over to their Discord server. Okay, so here we go. So this is what it looks like. Um, I'm just gonna click a random square, I guess. And I will get a card. So here we go. Oh, I would just screen record it and then put it like here. So you guys know that like I'm doing the card that was chosen. It's recording now. So I would just go ahead and pick a card. And I got nine of wands. So there's the nine of wands. I'm not sure if you guys can really see that. It's focusing on me instead of my phone. There's the nine of wands. Um, yeah, so let me go back to their readathon and see what the nine of wands mean. Or like what, yeah, what the prompt is for nine of wands. Okay, so nine of wands is to read a book with a resilient character. So I'm gonna figure out my book and I'll be back in a second because I need to see what books I have on my Kindle and stuff. All right, so I'm back. I chose my book and I think I'm going to start out with an audiobook just because I haven't really read an audiobook in a little bit. So I would like to go ahead and do this. So the book that I chose for a resilient character is Catching Fire by Suzanne Collins, which is the second book in The Hunger Games. I would consider Katniss to be resilient. So that is what we're going to go ahead and do. So I will check in with you guys when I'm 50% of the way through Catching Fire and let you guys know how I'm liking it. Hello. So I thought I would check in because I just finished my first book, which was Catching Fire. And this was for a book with a resilient character. I ended up giving it five stars. Um, I definitely like this one more than the first one. I feel like there was a lot more going on. Um, I enjoy the characters. I enjoy the storyline. This was my first time ever reading it, so I was shocked at places people may not have been because it's been around a while. Um, I am hoping to watch the movie this week, but I did, so I just will do my new like card drawing here, and for that I will get Six of Wands, so that prompt is read a book featuring politics or with political intrigue and that actually works perfectly because I would just finish off the series and read Mockingjay because there's definitely a lot of political issues going on in this one and I will probably do the audiobook for this one as well so I'll probably fly through it pretty quick so once I finish this one I will check in with my thoughts and we'll pick my next card Hello, good morning. So I have, let me see. So I'm about like 80% of the way through Mockingjay and I am really enjoying it. I'm really loving it. I'm curious to see how it's all gonna tie together and how it's gonna end. But I will talk to you about that after work. I just figured that I would actually 
pick my next card so that I can choose my next read and then we can go from there um yeah so let me just go ahead I will I'll go ahead and screen record this again and then I'll put it up here so you guys can see what I'm doing okay so sorry my phone like glitched so I pulled it up through um safari instead of keeping it on this cord so let us i don't know which one to pick that one ten of wands okay oh and i just realized i wasn't recording but i'll put the picture here <laughs> then i got tens of wands and the prompt for that is read a book with a character who's carrying a heavy heavy burden or going through a lot and I know exactly what book I'm going to read for that so I will be right back. All right, so I'm back and the book that I decided to pick for that prompt is Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson. This will be my first Morgan Matson book, but I think I'm pretty sure that this book will fit the prompt because if I remember correctly, her friend has gone I'm not sure if she has passed away or if she moved or how exactly her friend is gone. But I believe her best friend is no longer either her best friend or no longer with her. Something of that sort. So I would consider that to be going through a hard time. Um, that's pretty much all I know about the book. Yeah, so her best friend Sloan just disappears. And she leaves behind a to-do list. So she is... Emily is trying to finish these 13 tasks that Sloane had put down in hopes that her best friend would come back. I think that would be a hard time. So yeah, and this is also a bigger book at nearly 450 pages. So that will help with one of the trophies. I just don't remember which is which. So this is what we will be reading for tens of, 10 of wands. And I will update you guys maybe when I'm 50% through if I remember. If not, I will update you guys when I finish it with my thoughts and where we will go from there. Hello. So I needed to pop in, give you guys an update because today is the 21st, which means the readathon ends in three days. And I really want to get this last book finished and then maybe sneak in an audiobook if I can. But anyways, um, I came on to pop on and say that yesterday I did end up finishing Mockingjay. I ended up giving it four stars. My favorite in the trilogy is the second one, Catching Fire. Um, I just feel like the most happened in that one. Uh, there was a lot that happened in this one, but it mainly had to do with like Katniss and I guess like her figuring out like how she wants to go about approaching the capital. So that was fine. Um, I still really enjoyed it. Like I said, gave it four stars. I thought it was a very solid end to the trilogy. Um, I do want to watch the movies and see how they hold up against them because I only watched the first one. So I will be on the hunt to watch those. Um, I know that there is a fourth book. I think it's like a prequel. Uh, talking about President Snow and I'm not sure if I will read that one yet because I don't own it but as of now I completed Mockingjay and this was for my prompt of what I think it was six I think it was six of wands but something of wands and it was for a book with um politics or like political intrigue which this one definitely had um I'm at I mentioned yesterday that I picked my next card and it was a character going through something and I chose you or since you've been gone by Morgan Matson. I'm only 34 pages into it and that's literally chapter two it's because the chapters are so long like the first chapter was literally over 30 pages but um I am curious I am enjoying it I do think that this does fit the prompt because our main character Emily uh her best and basically only friend Sloan has disappeared she sent her a letter of things to do and Emily thinks that if she completes everything on this list that she will get to Sloan basically. So I do think that she is going through a lot. At least right now she is because she doesn't know how to approach her summer. Because it's summer, there's no school. She doesn't know how to approach her summer that she was planning with Sloan. They had a whole bunch of plans and now Sloan has disappeared. Um, also her parents are pretty checked out. So I believe she is going through 
some stuff. Um, nonetheless, I'm going to try to get at least 50% into this today. It is... So it's about 450 pages. So I would have to get to like 225. Let's see what chapter is closest to that. So I would have to get to chapter 7 in order to be like semi of halfway through. Um, the good thing is uh, every chapter is titled after something that Sloan has put on the list. So I feel like it will read pretty quickly. But we'll see. Um, I do work today. I'm supposed to be off earlier. We'll need to see if that actually happens because most of the time it does not happen. <laughs> but we'll need to see what happens. And then I will continue reading this. If I'm there during nap time, I'll continue reading this. If not, um, I'll continue reading this at home. I do have some editing to do. I want to film a couple videos, take a couple bookstagram pictures because I am currently in like bookstagram jail. I get in it like every other month. It's very annoying, but I get out of that hopefully tomorrow. So I want to have pictures ready to post and things like that. So I have a whole bunch of stuff here. All, like this entire stack that is all the books that I've accumulated through the month of July um, mainly for like they've mainly been gifts for my birthday I think out of this entire stack I've only bought like five of the books here so I'm not sure if I want to go ahead and film this already or give it until the end of July in case you know I get more books or some gifts are late so that is something i need to film i need to film my yes it is july 21st but i do need to film my june wrap up um i took an unexpected like break on booktube throughout the month of july so i'm just gonna post um i'm just gonna post my june wrap up and then i'm gonna post my birthday haul and then my july wrap up and then i'll continue my regular postings in august with like my tbr and stuff like that so that is pretty much the plan for today um i really 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 hope that i could get at least 50 percent into this one but it is ya so it has been reading quickly um i'm also reading two other books right now so we'll see how all of my reading goes but that is the update for now i'll get i'll update you guys when i get to the 50 percent mark hopefully if not then i guess when i finish the book um i'll try to update you guys when i get home if i've done any reading at work and yeah, so I will talk to you guys soon. Hello, good morning. Today is Friday the 23rd. I think I updated you guys the day before yesterday. Um, but after that, I haven't updated you guys. If you guys can hear my dogs eating in the background, I'm sorry, I have to leave for work in a little bit. So obviously I'm getting all my morning things done. Anyways, I wanted to pop on and update you guys. I'm not quite yet halfway through. Since you've begun, I'm about in the middle of um, chapter six or i just started it so not quite in the middle of the chapter but i am making my way through it i wanted to give you guys my update now while i still can because i'm not sure how my day will go i'm, I'm going into work um almost two hours earlier and i'm hoping i get off earlier but honestly i don't know so i am going to try to read more while i'm there if i get the chance but as of now i am really liking it um I think I explained earlier how it's a girl. It's about a girl named Emily whose best friend Sloan sort of disappears but leaves her a list of things to do. Um, and yeah, I am enjoying it. I'm not sure. She's made a new friend and I'm not sure if that will turn into a romance. I kind of hope it doesn't. I like that they are just friends, honestly. But we're going to need to see. Um, I will say that the chapters are pretty long, which kind of makes it a drag but they do have like um there's spots throughout the chapters where there's like these stars uh, i don't know if you guys can see that but there's like stars to break it up so i've been stopping at places like that if i do need to stop in the middle of a chapter but i'm about um i'm almost 50 percent of the way through because i'm on um page 215 and the middle of the book is 215 so or is 225 so i'm almost there um i am enjoying it like i said it is a very just like quick summer romance or not romance a contemporary book i also realized that in books i do like when there's lists so i like that each chapter is an item on the list 
that she's trying to complete. Um, they've also been including flashbacks, which I really enjoy. And there are like playlist mix, which I think are super cool. So I need to go through the playlists that the author has written out once I'm done with the book and, you know, probably make my own playlist. Um, but anyways, I'm not sure if I want the new friendship to become more than a friendship or not, but that's pretty much where I'm at now. Just wanted to give you guys a quick update before I head into work. Um, the last day of the readathon is tomorrow. I think it's tomorrow at midnight. So I'll have um, the rest of today, which is a lot since it's only six in the morning. And then I'll have all day tomorrow to finish this. Um, I'm not sure if I'll pick another card and finish it. Um, I might just pick another card for fun, see how that goes. And if, you know, it's like a card that I could fulfill with an audiobook that I have out at the library, then I'll probably do that. But if not, then I'll just forget I picked a card, honestly. But yes, so that's how Since You've Been Gone is going. And I will update you guys hopefully when I finish the book, which will hopefully be today or early tomorrow. I just got home from work and I wanted to check in because I actually ended up finishing it since you were gone or since you've been gone. Um, I loved it, honestly. I gave it five stars. I really enjoyed it. Although it's like a bigger book and the chapters were longer, it, it was just so easy to read. Like given it is YA, but it was just so much fun. Um, I loved the ending and how everything sort of wrapped up. Obviously there was some unnecessary drama, but I've come to pretty much expect that when I'm reading YA. So that didn't really bother me as much as it must have bothered other people, but I really loved it. I gave it five stars. Um, I loved how the author tied everything together and I loved all of the adventures of uh, that Emily took crossing things off of her list. I like that it was very list focused and it wasn't just like, oh, I wanna do these things, I wanna complete it. And then, you know, she gets sidetracked or anything. Like she actually genuinely tries to complete this list. And I really, really loved that. So I ended up giving this one five stars. The readathon does end tomorrow, but I went, um, while I was at work, I went ahead and drew again. So I'll just put the thing right here so you guys, I ended up screen recording it just so you guys could see what I did draw. And um, obviously you see that I drew Ace of Swords. And for Ace of Swords, the prompt was, let me double check. Oh, the newest book on your TBR. So I decided to, my copy's upstairs, but, um, I'm just too lazy to go get it right now. But I chose Good Girl, Bad Blood, which is the sequel to A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. And you're, you might be thinking like, that's kind of a bigger book. I think it's like over 400 pages. So like, why would you do that if you only have one more day left in the readathon? And that is because I actually have the audiobook out from my library so that I, I know I'm just gonna fly through it. Um, a Good Girl's Guide to Murder, I actually ended up listening to in one day. So I'm not, as worried i think um but i am home from work about an hour or so earlier than i usually am so i'm gonna get um some housework going but before i get started on that i just wanted to update you guys and let you guys know that i finished my third book of the readathon i'm going to try to knock out my fourth but i'll keep you guys updated on that while i'm doing like my housework and stuff i'll probably pop in my earbuds and already start listening to it and then I will update you guys when I reach the 50% mark of Good Girl, Bad Blood. And hopefully, hopefully it just is what it is, you know? Now hopefully it goes good. I heard the sequel is really good. So hopefully I get through it pretty quick. Um, let me check how long the audiobook is. So the audiobook is only 11 hours. So that really isn't bad at all, considering I usually go um, two times speed or higher and usually three times speed if I have the physical book with me. So while I'm doing housework, I'll probably go like two times speed, maybe a little bit higher. And then when I can sit down and read and like have the book in front of me, then I'll probably up it up to three times. And then yeah, we'll get the ball rolling. So like I said, I will update you guys when I reach the 50% mark and we will talk then. Hello, so the readathon for the tarot readathon ended a couple days ago. But I didn't end my vlog because I um, 
I didn't finish Good Girls Bad Blood until yesterday. So I just wanted to finish it before I wrapped up this vlog just so I had some thoughts for you guys. So I finished Good Girl Bad Blood by Holly Jackson. Uh, this is the sequel to A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. So yeah, um, I gave the first book five stars. Second book, no different. I gave it five stars. I love Pip as a character and I really hope that Holly Jackson somehow keeps her like whole thing going. Um, I love the side characters with Robbie. I love Robbie so much, but yeah, so I gave this one five stars because Pip is just amazing. I cannot wait for the third book. This one, I don't think you necessarily have to read the first book to read this one, but you just get a bit of the background on how Pip goes about things. And they do talk a little bit about um, the first case and there's like a verdict from the first book. So I would highly recommend reading the first book first but i gave this one five stars i did just want to come on and give you guys real thoughts before i let you guys off um but unfortunately since i did not finish this in time it did not actually count towards my points but it's fine um so i'm gonna go ahead real quick and kind of give you guys the rundown of everything i read and then my ratings for everything i need to go on the discord because i forgot what i read if i'm being honest okay so the first book i read was catching fire which i gave five stars and then i read mocking jay and i gave that four stars both by suzanne collins um the second and third book in the hunger games trilogy then i read since you've been gone by morgan matz and i also gave that five stars and then good girl bad blood which i gave five stars so of the four books that i read for this readathon three of them were five stars and one of them was four stars so i'm very happy about that um over the course of the readathon, I read a total of 1,655 pages, um, if you count this book fully. And yeah, so that's pretty much my gist on everything that happened. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I really enjoyed a lot of these books, obviously. And yeah, so thank you so much for watching. You can like, comment, and subscribe down below. All of my socials to follow me anywhere else are down below, as well as some Discord servers if you're on Discord. Um, but that's all from me for today. So I will see you in the next one. Bye.